Yo, what is up guys? I am back and I've just got my hands on Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns and it is just a demo at the moment. Obviously the demo's only just been released and the game will be out sometime in the future, not too long from now. But um, I just wanted to do this kind of review -y type video just to try and help people decide whether they want this game or not because I've been on both ends. When I first saw the previews for this, um, I wasn't very impressed. I thought it was going to look pretty bad and having played 13 and 13 2 I wasn't quite sure how it was going to pan out. But um, once I've played it, I've played it demo like three or four times now and i got to admit I'm pretty impressed. I had a lot of fun playing it every single time. It was very enjoyable and everything they've done about it is just so much better. Now there is some bad points but we will get to those later. But first I want to talk about the battle system. Now they completely changed the battle system for the better, <laughs> happy to say, and uh, they've made it much quicker, much simpler, um, and I, it's just it's much easier, it's much more relaxed. And not I don't mean the battles are more relaxed. I mean you feel more relaxed when you're doing it because in the old, you know, thirteen and thirteen two, there was it was kind of hectic. You had several menus for like attacking and auto attack and magic you just have to quickly select them and obviously in an active battle you don't really want to have to be m messing around with menus every few seconds trying to figure out what it is and what you want to do really really quickly you just want to be able to press something and it works and that's exactly what they've done with this they've completely changed it and I'll f the first thing I'll talk about actually is how it's so much simpler to attack now. So you'll have square, triangle, circle, and X, and each button will obviously relate to a different move. So one square could be guard, X could be attack, triangle could be a magic command. But apart from that, I mean, apart from just having those four attacks, you do have another two. Now these things are called schemas. Now you've got a black mage, you've got savior, you've got dragoon, you've got... There's so many combinations. It's, it's what I love about it. It's so much customization. But you can switch. You'll have three in battle. And you can switch between those three during battle. And now they all have their own ATV gauges, which is very useful. It keeps the game very fast paced, which is really fun. You're not waiting for something to replenish. If you run out of one ATV gauge, you'll switch to, say, a Sentinel. And then you can use his ATV gauge while your Black Mage's ATB gauge refills, and it's 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 brilliant. It's the way they've done it is so much better, and there's no more nonsense with the paradigm shifts where you'll switch paradigm, and there'll be like a five second cutscene of you switching. It's just silly. It's an instant swap. As soon as you press it, Lightning's outfit will glow, and there she goes. You'll be instantly into whatever you know, it's your Black Mage or whatever it is that you want to switch into, which is very handy. I love that. I've been begging them for ages to take that out and they've finally done it so that's uh, it's made me very very happy now a schema just in case you're wondering is a, a word that describes a given set of garbs or equipment or you know the abilities that is attached to that schema now you can think it if you played for 13 and 13 2 it's basically just your class so black mage or sentinel any anything like that it's exactly like that but they've just changed the word a little bit <laughs> Now with that said, I am very pleased with what they've done with the whole battle system. I mean, not only is the attacks and the way you deal with your commands, they've also got obviously the set ATB gauges which do make it feel a lot quicker. With the old ones it seemed like you could be waiting a little while for it to attack, but it's it's so much more fast paced now and for the better. Now that is not the only thing they've done with the battle system, they've also enabled character movement which I was kind of expected in 13, I figured you'd be able to move your character during battle, but you couldn't. And then in X2, you couldn't even. Now, it wasn't that much of a problem. It just, I felt like that's something I should be able to do is control my own character. Now, they've done that with Lightning Returns. You can move your own character freely in battle. She can't really run. It's more of a walking stance during battle. It's kind of slow, but you can move her. Now... I didn't really find this very useful, to be quite honest, um, and I never really used it. I kind of forgot about it, and even if you do move away from the enemy, the enemy's going to come right at you anyways. And most of the attacks that the enemy uses is an area of an effect attack, so 
it's not really like you can just dodge them. You do have skills to dodge moves, but the character movement is just kind of a a little kind of side thing where it's it's nice to have it, but it doesn't really prove any use. But like like I said, it is nice just to be able to have that. It feels like you're more in control of the player, which is always a great thing. Now moving away from the battle system, the way they've done the outside world is much better. It's it's much more open world. Um, you can go wherever you like, and there's a lot of people to talk to. But my favourite thing is the outworld services. Now, if you guys don't know what the outworld services are, it's basically other online characters, which is brilliant. You can, I wouldn't say, as far as we know, I don't think you can play with other characters online yet. I mean, that might be something they implement later on, but not at the moment. Now, once you start off, you will see certain characters in blue walking around where you are. And you can't really do anything with them. You, you can talk to them and that's kind of it. You can't really go into battle with them and they won't follow you. They'll go on the same set path as you sometimes, but they won't always be there. Now, the handy thing about this is if you see another character out there, and keep in mind that this is a, an AI controlled bot. It's not your, that someone else actually playing. It's just another bot there where they're waiting for you to go past and another player has gave them an item or a, taken a snapshot and you can go up to them, talk to them and you might find that there's an item in that person. They might have put an item in the AI bot which they're selling for and you can buy this item which is very very useful because not only does it give you the chance to restock if you're seriously in need of items but you can also get very rare items so if someone doesn't want a certain weapon and you need a powerful weapon and they decide to sell it and you find this person that's selling a weapon I mean that's brilliant that's I love how they've done that it's it feels a lot more interactive with other people rather than lightning being on our, on our own constantly which is I thought it was gonna be a pain in the bum <laughs> now we all know the Final Fantasy genre is always been great at CGI it, and they still are that the even in battle the the effects and the magic effects are still just as good as they were in the old Final Fantasies and the CGI is still amazing. Everything looks just as good as it always does, which is typical of Square Enix because they're freaking always good at CGI. <laughs> now I have noticed some bad points in the game, we're playing it a few times, I've noticed a few, I wouldn't say problems, but things that might be annoying. But there are things that will counterbalance what I'm saying, so it's not too bad. These things aren't very major, but depending on how they play it, it could be a pain in the bum. Now, for example, if you're a veteran at playing Final Fantasy, uh, rather than 13 and 13 2 mainly, you're going to know how to fight enemies by now. <laughs> you know, like deprotecting them, using magic to stagger them and then going in for the high damage. Now, the only problem it was when I found I was playing it, it did seem kinda easy. Now, it is just a demo, and it's obviously not gonna be that hard, but killing enemies, I mean, every battle was probably a minute long, if that. I mean, that's probably, that's gotta be the maximum. Uh, a boss fight would last about three to four minutes. Uh, obviously, you only fight one boss in the demo, but, it did feel a little easy, I never found myself in danger, and the problem is you have six items to use in battle at any time you want, and I never needed to use them, I never got low on health, and the problem with the whole thing is if you know when to guard, I mean the whole big point is guarding when the enemy attacks you, and as long as you guard, I mean they barely scratch you, and with Mediguard you can heal while guarding, which is kind of, it's good, I mean I like that, but I think it kind of makes the game a little bit too easy. Now the thing to counterbalance that is they do have hard mode. I mean, this I was just playing it on normal mode, but I'm not sure if you would have to complete the game first or you would be able to choose hard mode straight away. And it would kind of suck if you couldn't choose hard mode straight away because, I mean, sometimes once you've played games, you don't really want to play them again. And, you know, I'm kind of a, a, a trophy addict, so I want to get all the trophies I can in one run, see how many I can get. And if I have to complete it and then do it again, I mean, I won't have a problem with it. I love Final Fantasy games, I love replaying them, but I would just prefer a challenge straight away rather than having to 
wait for it after I've completed the game. Now the next bad point, and I think a lot of people would probably agree with me on this, um, is there is a timer in the game. They, you need to complete the game within a time limit, which I don't really like. I'm a person that likes to go around the game, finding out all the secrets, getting out all the easter eggs, and all the special little bosses that you find hiding around. And with this timer, I'd probably feel a little rushed. I mean, I'm not going to know how long the game takes to complete. Uh, I'm not really sure how long the, the timer is for. I know it's for six days, but game-wise, I'm not sure how long that is. I'm hoping that they've made it a long time. I can't see them making it a really small amount of time, because that would seem very silly. But even so, I don't like the fact of having a timer on the game itself. I like to feel, you know, go at my own pace rather than feel like I'm rushing and constantly thinking, should I be doing this? Do I have enough time to do this? Or will the world end before I, I've finished getting the extra bosses? And I'm really hoping they haven't messed the game up just with that timer, because I've never liked timers in games where you have to complete the whole game within a set timer. I think that really kind of sucks. But you know, hopefully they've done it well and there won't be a problem. And that's pretty much it for my little review-ish type video. I'm hoping you guys have found this useful. Like I said, um, it is very enjoyable. Go pick up the demo. Uh, it is kind of something you need to play. I mean, when I was watching it, I didn't think it looked that great. But it is, it is very fun to play. And I'm hoping that you guys have as much fun as I did playing it. And leave in the comments, did you guys play the demo, what did you think of it, or are you not going to get Lightning Returns, do you not like the look of it, or are you going to get it from the start, or are you going to get it whether it's looked good or not, just post in the comments what you guys think, I would love to hear your opinion, and I'll be there to reply back straight away. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did, go ahead and click that like button for my very first review ever, I know it might not have been the best review in the world, but I've never really reviewed a game before, but I felt like this was a game that just... I want to get my opinion out, you know, so <laughs> I'm really hoping I did alright, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao! This is your last chance for payback.